Hey everyone, I'm sure you're all aware of the recent news um, that's been happening with uh, Mozilla, specifically Mozilla Firefox, the internet browser. Um, as you know, over this past week, they uh, recently updated their um, terms of service, and there's also some changes within their, within their uh, I guess you call it source code, or some policies you know, I that were identifying um, you know, what specifics they would do with user data. Um, to be specific in this case, you might have noticed that in the news recently, Mozilla clearly, you know, they're getting rid of their policy that they won't sell data to anyone ever. Um, and actually, even in this article here that I'm looking at, um, basically, Mozilla is saying that they will be able to process your data um, with the consent of that whatever you put in Firefox. So essentially, Mozilla is turning into, you know, what a, a lot of corporations are nowadays, basically harvesting your data and using your data to sell as a profit. Now, the good thing is, if you want um, to not worry about that there is an alternative and then i've been using honestly the alternative uh, to mozilla for about a year and a half two years now um that alternative being um it's not brave but brave's a good one as well if you want a chromium based browser i've been using uh LibreWolf. now um LibreWolf is basically a fork of mozilla but it's got all the uh basically you can say uh the the more data sensitive you know privacy features are not non-private non-private you know data collecting features ripped out of it so basically like a fork for you what you guys if you guys don't know what that is a fork is essentially you can go to like a github repository or any code repository you want and you can fork it which means you kind of like take a stab and you take it you can clone it and you can do what you want with it and repurpose it um if it has the proper licensing now you won't be able to do it with proprietary software because usually proprietary software is an open source but there's a bunch of different different licenses for that altogether. But essentially LibreWolf, you can think of it like this. It's basically if you take a modern car that you have nowadays, you know, with all like the um I guess you call it safety features, you know, um like basically the air not airplay, um the car play, excuse me, um all the extra sensors and maybe like you know double climate control and like touch screens and little like holographic icons on the dash. And it's basically if you take like a new car like that and replace it for from with something from the early or even the 90s or like early late 2000s you know more of like a basic car that just had like a radio the basic like speedometer odometer not a lot of digital sensors stuff like that right so essentially that's what LibreWolf is um and it's a, overall it's a great alternative and that's constantly the fix um for those who want to abandon mozilla after this big change and i wouldn't blame anybody for wanting to abandon mozilla um it's kind of you know a lot of people relied on you know using that uh i forget what the name of it is but there's a certain javascript um script that you can run to make mozilla more private out of the box and that's what a lot of people did for privacy so it's kind of like a slap in the face because i know there's even there's even some like you know security focused and I know, I know this is kind of a stupid example, but Kali Linux comes with Mozilla out of the box, you know, kind of having that, you know, I know it's a pen testing, you know, uh, hacking, like whatever OS specifically for like VMs and stuff, but still, you know, that kind of looks bad if you want to have like Mozilla just beyond that, like, I'm thinking they should put like LibreWolf on that, but anyways, you know, I'll put a link in the description and I'll maybe probably make another video showing how to do an install and set it up. It's relatively, it's, in my opinion, pretty much the exact same thing. Um, but yeah, I guess a healthy alternative and a safe alternative as to what I know so far there might be something hidden, but there shouldn't be because it's open source is LibreWolf. So, um, you know, in light of the recent news, um, if you want to, you know, just quit screwing around, cut to the chase, LibreWolf is the way to go. Um, you know, it's really fast, it's easy to set up. I know there's some things here and there that you might have to tweak, but overall it's been a great experience the past year and a half I've used it. And honestly, I'd have to say that's the best alternative to Mozilla after they decided to, <clears throat> excuse me, make these uh, policy and changes where they process your data. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please sure to like, comment, and or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.